What's good, Merc Empire? It's Merc here, and today I'm bringing you something that I've been getting a lot of requests for. Listen, I have been constantly been getting people being like, dude, how do you stream on Twitch? How do you use OBS? How do your streams look the way they do? I want to do it too. There's a lot of people that watch my streams or videos, and they want to do it too. Listen, and today, I'm going to teach you how. We're just gonna, I'm gonna, I have OBS open, and I have another OBS open, recording this OBS. That way I can show you guys exactly how this works from the ground up, how to stream on Twitch, the way I do it, maybe give you some pointers, and uh, hopefully you can be up and running on Twitch as soon as possible. I'm gonna try to make it as simple and fast as possible, but at the same time I don't want to skim through everything and make it like super fast. I want you to actually understand what's going on. So, if you were to, uh, you know, make a Twitch account, you have a stream key, there's a link to get your stream key. I will put that in the description. You can click on that link and it'll take you to your stream key. Or um, I might link something that'll teach you how to get to your stream key. I'm not sure if it's an exact link. But yeah, there's a link in the description. It'll teach you how to get it if you do not know how to get your stream key. But that's not the main thing. Getting your stream key is an easy part. You just get that. You throw it into OBS. It'll be in your settings. Once you open up OBS, it's going to look very similar to this. Now check this out. Hold on. Let me just make a random scene. Uh, it'll be uh, the custom translation. Um, so you're going to see this. It's going to be a black screen. There's going to be no sources. Obviously, you don't have all these screens. I have a bunch of screens because I use them for my streaming stuff. And I would suggest that you have multiple screens as well because it just adds a little bit more production value to it or whatnot. But it's obviously up to you. Um, you're going to start up with nothing. And you can add sources and whatnot. There are settings. You can stream. You can record in studio mode and whatnot. All types of stuff. There's a lot of stuff you can do with OBS, honestly. And uh, I definitely suggest going into it and really learning how to use everything the best way you can. But in terms of just like streaming some games on Twitch, let's just be real simple about it. So you're going to right click. You're going to press add. You're going to go on over to video capture device. And I'm guessing you're going to have some sort of capture card because usually people use a capture card. So if you're using a capture card to stream console, then you will have to, you know, I've used a, I use a Razer Ripsaw. You could be using an Elgato, uh, whatever you're using. And uh, you would create new, you would name it whatever you want, and you would pick your Razer Ripsaw, Elgato, whatever it is. Or let's say you're trying to play a PC game, right? You're trying to play a PC game. PC game. I'm trying to talk really fast. Sorry about that. Um, you obviously can go on over. You could do a display capture. You could do a, or even just a window capture, okay? You can use either of these, or all three, I don't even, whatever you want to do. It's really up to you. I usually use game capture because I don't want my entire screen being shown at times. What if something pops up that I don't want to pop up, you know? That's always bad. So it's better to just use game capture, in my opinion. Or window capture works completely fine. So let's just say you do game capture. You just make it, whatever you want to name it. And uh, you can either have it to capture automatically any full screen, game or whatever and then you could also just specific window and choose what you want it to look at so you can definitely do that either way it's up to you obviously there's a lot of choices it's not just black and white how you want to stream the way you're gonna stream it's different for everybody really and it depends on what equipment you're working with and whatnot so let's go on and just play around with this real quick so let's say we have our game capture i'm going to um, actually, because I have a Razer Ripsaw, like I said earlier, I'm going to add that because I already have it as a source video capture device and uh, my Razer Ripsaw. And you can see my, my PlayStation screen is kind of dimmed because I'm not actually playing right now. But there you can see there's the game already in there. And then to make it real simple, we're just going to go on over to video capture device and, you know, you can add just whatever, name it webcam, whatever you want to name it. I just have it as C930E because I also have a second webcam as well. So I'm going to go to my C930E right here and just throw it in here. All you got to do is just make sure that you're clicking on this and uh, just move it, make it small, make it whatever size you want, put it wherever you want, it doesn't matter. I usually like to put it here or wherever, you know, honestly, usually in the corner, not in the middle, because that'd be very strange. But I'm gonna put it right here. If you have an overlay, all you gotta do is just press plus, go on over to image, and then, you know, like I said earlier, you know, just press this and you go and you find the image and then you're good, easy peasy. But I already have it in there, so I'm gonna just go. I'm going to go into my overlay and then boom, boom, overlay right there. And it looks strange, but don't worry. I just, I just have a weird file. This is probably an old version. I don't know why I clicked that one. Whatever, who cares? It really doesn't matter. You just size it up. You go and you size your webcam to fit in your thing. You know, if you use an overlay, not everybody does. Some people just like to use their webcam just the way they are. But, you know, done. There you go. 
really simple you got your game you got your webcam you got your overlay now obviously there's a ton more that you're gonna want to use usually if you're streaming on twitch you want your alerts so i use a thing called streamlabs uh for my alerts so i mean that could be a whole other video in itself realistically but it's pretty simple go to streamlabs.com you can play around with it you know get your alerts for follows host subs maybe if you're an affiliate or partner um or anything you know i'm obviously these people that are watching this video are probably just starting to start streaming so you may not be an affiliate or a partner so yeah anyway you're gonna definitely need alerts you know to know when you get follows or hosts or whatever and it also just adds a little bit more to your stream how you do that is basically you go on to stream labs like i said you set it all up and they're gonna give you a link so you're just gonna add a browser source and then you just press okay and you would put the link in there right there like so you we would paste your link for your alerts and so for me i already have that in there like i always have every i already have everything in there um you just copy and paste it say browser source i have actually a couple because i have like different things i'm like really complicated the way i do stuff but um yeah so like i have different alert systems so we just press okay and boom we have the alerts it's going to be transparent and uh you know whenever an alert goes off it'll show up and it'll be really cool and you know you can say thank you for the follow thank you for the bits thank you for whatever you know and some good stuff so you've most likely by now got your game, you've got your webcam, your overlay if you have one, you've got, you know, your alerts. What else do you need to stream on Twitch? Now, I would really suggest that you stream with a bot. Now, I'm not talking about a view bot, all right, before somebody starts freaking out. No, I'm talking about a moderation bot. Now, a lot of people really use uh, Nightbot or Moobot. Those are the two. Probably most popular or Ankbot has been ranking up. Ranking up? That's, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> has been going up. A lot of people have been using Ankbot. But I actually personally use Deepbot. Deepbot is my favorite. Uh, it's actually a paid one. You have to pay for this one. But I think it's worth the money. Uh, it's pretty cool. You get to choose your own name for, like, the bot. So for mine, it's Merkbot. You know, you, you get to change your title when I all through here. And it's really simple and easy to use. Uh, you can look at your chat through here. You can mod people or unmod people through here. You can, you know, go through a lot of different stuff. You know, channel, channel commands, music, all types of stuff that you can do with this. So, yeah, there's a lot you can do with Deepbot. I would personally suggest using Deepbot if you want to take this seriously. If you're just starting into this and you just want to do it for fun or whatever, definitely Nightbot is a, is a go-to for me. Nightbot is great. It's really simple, easy to use. Just go to Nightbot. Uh, their website will be in the description if you want to use their stuff. You can obviously look up Moobot or any other bots that you'd like to use. But like I said, I use Deepbot. I'll put them in the description as well. So with what you have right now, you pretty much can stream like you're set. Except we forgot about the settings, right? Now obviously OBS has a lot of settings that you may not understand, right? So we're in the settings right now. You go on over to stream. And for me, obviously, stream key. You gotta have your stream key in here. I said that earlier. Get the stream key, throw it in here. This is where you would put the stream key. You would make sure it says Twitch, stream services, good stuff. I go to the US East New York server because, well, I'm in New Jersey, which is the close, this is the closest one to me. This is the closest server to me. So I go with this one and it works fine. Try to go for the one that's closest to you. I'm gonna go on to output. This is where things get really tricky. This is where things get very tricky because with everybody, they all have different parts. They all have different computers. They all are running different stuff. For me, I have a really good computer, in my opinion. I mean, it's not it's not astronomical, but it's a pretty good PC, right? And it can handle the mo most things that I throw at it. I stream at a high bit rate of about 3,000. I'd say the average person usually streams about 2,000 to 2,500. It really depends on your internet. If you have, uh, you can go to speedtest.net, you can check your speeds. But if your upload speed is under five, I probably would say you 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 might not be able to stream. You can, but it's it's most likely gonna lag or you're gonna drop frames or you're gonna have some issues unless you have a lower bit rate. So definitely accommodate your bit rate for your internet. This is something that everybody has to just mess around with. I, I know I hate when people say that because it's annoying, but honestly, you really do just gotta mess around with it. I'd say try uh, 2,500. If that does not work, go down to 2,000. If that does not work, uh, I don't know, man. That's uh, it going lower than 2000 may not be the best idea. You might need to just upgrade your internet or, you know, do something else. But um, I use the encoder, the NVEC, which means it's going through my graphics card rather than my CPU. 
Uh, I, I switch these around because it really doesn't matter. It doesn't make much of a difference for me. But for other people, it could be very different. Depends on, you know, again, what parts you have. If you have a really good graphics card, make it go through your graphics card. If you have a really good CPU, make it go through your CPU. Um, you know, good stuff like that. So, that's, like I said, all this stuff is really um, just what works for you, right? And I have it on advanced mode. You may have it on simple. Just throw it to advanced if you want it to look just like this one. We go down to audio. You can copy all this if you'd like. Uh, my desktop audio device is my obviously my Astros, and then my mic is my short digital microphone that I got. So yeah, set that all up to what you have. Obviously, it's different for every person. Go on over to video. Now, what I do is I have my base canvas resolution at 1920 by 1080, and then I will uh, stream at 720p because recently I've been having a little bit of issues. Uh, I used to stream at 1080, but I've been having issues recently. I don't know why, but um, as of right now, I'm streaming at 720p, 30 FPS. You can stream up to 60 FPS and uh, you can do 1080p. Like I said, this is again, another thing you may want to have to try, uh, different, uh, different stuff. Try streaming at 1080p. It's really not necessary, especially for somebody new. Uh, you can definitely try it though. If you can, if you can handle it, go live 720p, 1080p, 60 FPS, 30 FPS, whatever you want to do. You know, just try stuff out, see what you like, see what works. And go on from there. But I would definitely suggest not going lower than 720p. And probably don't go higher than 1080p. Hotkeys. Hotkeys can be very useful, right? It really depends on what you do. Because for me, I have all these scenes. As you can see, there's a bunch of scenes right here that I use. And I, I go through very, very fast, very often. So I have my hotkeys set. I don't have an Elgato Stream Deck, which is actually a very useful tool for hotkeys. I just use random keys on my keyboard, like my uh, arrow keys. If I press certain buttons, it will bring me to certain scenes. Now, I have all these scenes. Check this out. I've got my starting soon scene, which is like the scene that I have right before my stream is ready to go. And I'm tweeting out the stream or I'm sending out a Snapchat or whatever. Then I've got this one where I'm just basically talking to the chat. It's focused on me interacting with the chat, more IRL type thing. Then we've got my intermission screen. I just put this together real quick. Um, and, you know, it just has a game. It has me and it's some good stuff. We go on over. To game and this is my main scene i'm usually on the scene while streaming because i'm playing games and whatnot so last night i was playing some rainbow six siege with some good stuff uh i have this only game scene because i'm i'm a weirdo i may be the only person that does this but since i stream on pc xbox and ps4 it's way easier to have one scene that has my capture card my game capture and my display capture all in one that way all i got to do is just change it and then it'll change for my game automatically. So it's easier. And you're probably wondering, how do I have that transition, the custom transition? That's a plugin for OBS. You have to look it up. It's called Stinger Transition. So you can definitely go and get that if you'd like. Not necessary. Not too many people use it, but I do. I think it's very useful. I think it looks nice. It looks more professional. But yeah. Also, you may want to look at this mixer very often while streaming. This mixer will really tell you what's going on. So as you can see, my mic audio goes around to here, but let's say I had my desktop audio all the way up and I had somebody in the call or I was playing a game and the, the game was louder than me. You would know that. You wouldn't even have to check your stream. It would say it. I mean, it would show it right here. You would know. So you could just lower your desktop audio. You usually have it to like almost half, but not quite. And then uh, we're pretty good right there. It also depends like how loud I'm talking, if I'm just being loud that day or if I'm not being loud, you know, it really depends. But yeah, that's the thing. Then I've got my close face scene, which just is high. It's, it's a random scene, so comedy. And I've got my second camera scene right here. I really got to set it up on a tripod, but I don't know. I didn't even set it up yet. So yeah. And then this is just the scene that I was showing how to do stuff that I just made today. Uh, this, is pretty, this is pretty much it, really. I mean, I made this as fast as possible. I didn't want to stall. I also didn't want to leave out any details, but this is pretty much how you start streaming. It's really simple, you know? As long as you have the appropriate equipment, if you have the capture card, or let's say you're playing on PC, you know, you don't need a capture card usually. Um, you know, you have your webcam, you got everything, it, it's all good. And that's really all you gotta know. All the extra stuff, like my BitCup, that's from Streamlabs. The thing on the bottom left of my screen, that's from Streamlabs. The top left, I made that myself. That's for the Soar RC grind. Obviously, as you already know, I'm going for the Soar RC. And then I've got this uh, fire down there that was custom made. And then it has 18. That's actually my sub count as of right now. So 
I mean, you can add whatever you want to your stream. It's really, you know, just be creative, be unique, do something uh, that's never been done before. And, uh, you know, you got a chance of doing something great, you know? So, yeah, this is my tutorial, how to use OBS, how to stream on Twitch. I know everybody's been asking me to do this for a long time, but I finally did it. It's finally here. Hope it helped at least somebody to get started on Twitch because Twitch is honestly awesome. I've loved streaming on Twitch for the past two years, probably. Um, it's, it's, it's some good stuff. It's some good stuff. But that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like. I really do appreciate it. It really does make me happy when I see that people are liking my video. Also, be sure to comment if you have any questions because I know people will have questions. It just happens. You know, everybody, somebody doesn't get it or somebody needs extra help. Somebody needs something specific that they need help with. But when it comes to streaming on Twitch, these are my basics. These are the essentials that I just basically put out for you. You know, set up OBS, put in your stream key, and, um, you know, have a bot for moderation because you are going to have trolls and whatnot. So those are the main things that you got to know. Hopefully this helped. That's it. Merc out!